See, the second key is don't fight with your eyes closed. And this is what I really like, talking about fighting with your eyes closed. You know, one thing that people do in life and the reason why they are not successful is because they don't recognize things that they should recognize. See, I tell people all the time that you can only correct what you are willing to confront. It took me a long time to realize when I got in this business that I was kind of negative. I wasn't negative to myself, it didn't seem like. But a lot of people would tell me, Rico, you're negative. And I started to realize that I was negative and I was able to become positive. I was a procrastinator. I wanted to do things on my own time. But I started to realize if I wanted to be successful, I had to follow some guidelines. I had to set goals and I had to pursue them and stop procrastinating. So you have to be willing to confront yourself. If you want to be a vice president, if you're a regional manager after this weekend, in the next four months, and you set those goals, you have to be real with yourself and say, you know what, I got to go out and I got to do 15 presentations a week. I got to go recruit 30 to 40 people a week in order to do these presentations. And I'm going to commit to get this done each and every week. See, because if you don't start confronting yourself and holding yourself accountable, the reality is nobody else probably will. See, most people don't want you to be successful. That's why most people aren't. So you got to understand, you got to be responsible for yourself. And then you can go help somebody else be successful. So talking about fighting with your eyes closed, anything worth having is worth fighting for. You agree with that? You know what I mean? We have people overseas right now that are fighting for the freedom in this country. And it's worth it. You know, I remember a schoolyard brawl that I had back when I was in uh, middle school. And I can't really remember even what I got into a fight about. But the guy that I got in a confrontation with, name was Anthony. Everybody called him Big Ant. He was like the bully. He was huge. He was like three times the size I was. But, you know, I was a small kid, but I always thought I was bad. And I can't even remember what Anthony and I got into an argument about, but all I can remember is Big Ant's fat fist connecting with my head. <laughs> and the next thing I remember waking up after I got off the floor at home was my grandfather and a couple of my uncles standing there, and they were like, what happened? So I told them what happened, and they said, well, you know, we need to teach you how to fight because before that point, I never really got into a fight. So they asked me, they said, Rico, well, how were you standing? So I told them, you know, I had my hands up and I had my eyes closed. <laughs> they said, well, not only was your stance wrong because you were opening yourself up, he said, but you had your eyes closed because you were afraid to see yourself get your butt whooped. So he was able to teach me at that point that if I had my eyes open, then maybe I had a better chance at not getting my butt kicked, or at least defending myself better, or even maybe kicking his butt. But the bottom line was I had my eyes closed. See, most people in life today, they have their eyes closed in life, in terms of what they're trying to accomplish. People want a better way of life, but they really don't know what to do and how to get it. Okay, so that's why we're out here showing this opportunity, showing people a better way of how to get that opportunity. You know, even reps in this business, they get in, but they don't get trained. They don't go to meetings. They quit and they wish for success overnight. If you don't understand how this deal works, how can you become successful? So you're out there fighting the fight and you got your eyes closed. 